Amen. It's starting to smell good in here, Sophie. Oh, it is. The lamb is ready. Vikram Vidj right with us. And we're celebrating everything Indian today, including food. Vikram will tell us about the Indian Summer Festival after break, and he'll show us how to make one of his signature dishes. The lamb popsicles are ready to cook. We'll take a break. Absolutely. Okay, and be right back with these. We'll cook them. Stay with us. Okay, this is what we've been smelling. It's the garlic. garlic yeah. Oh yeah, I love toasted garlic. So Vikram Vidge is here. We're gonna talk about the Indian Summer Festival, which is coming up very soon in Vancouver. All things Indian, including food, and you are so well known for your lamb popsicles. Right. It's your signature dish. No. I'm sorry, I do actually, I did try a different dish, but almost every time I go to Vidge's, I do get the lamb popsicles. My pleasure. And the short ribs, actually. Two dishes. Yeah, okay. okay, so we're going to make them today. Yeah. How do we do this? Well, one of the uh, starting points of Indian summer, with the idea behind that was, what notes are to a musician are these spices to me, as far as the cumin, the cloves, the cinnamon, the ginger is concerned. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea of Indian summer came about was, uh, you know what, let's create food and let this be our palate Right. Of, of where we're going to cook the food from. This is your piece of art. Yeah, this piece of art. So, some little bit of garlic. Okay. A little bit of turmeric. Okay. Uh, a little sure. red chili. See, the colors are so beautiful. Yeah, well, that's the beautiful part of mm. it. And the idea is that I'm adding these spices to this. This is only based on the fact that they have different flavors. Okay. And they're not just a big, huge jambalaya there. Okay. So, what I've done is I've added all these spices. What you would do, just stir that up stir a little bit. Okay. So they all work together. They all work together. There's nicely. harmony, like you said. They're all notes, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so you would do this, and then <clears throat> once you've stirred it up, do it more vigorously. <laughs> yeah. You would take the lamb, for example, and just coat and it. The idea, yeah, and okay. coat it. And the idea behind this dish would be is that this is, you know, summer barbecue. You marinated the lamb mm -hmm. like that, and then quickly after you've done it, you can just throw them in a pan, turn it up a bit and then throw it on the, on the pan like that, and then just enjoy these dishes. So it really doesn't take very long at all. No, it doesn't. It's the marination that takes a little bit longer. Technically, according to the recipe, you would put it and put it in the fridge for a little bit. But to let, let all the spices soak in. Let, let all the spices soak mm -hmm. through, and then you will have a finished dish. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so while that's cooking, yeah. let's talk about the Indian Summer Festival that's happening. It, it's happening July 7th to 17th at SFU Woodward's, and that's in uh, downtown Vancouver. What is this festival all about? Well, you know, Sirish and Laura, uh, who are the organizers of the festival, came to me and said, well, you know, we've always talked about music, and Indian music is very, very important. Indian cinema, which is Bollywood, mm -hmm. is very, very important. Mm -hmm. But they all, all, everybody forgets that Indian food is part of the music. Okay. So what we decided to do was on the 7th of July, we're going to have a little reception where I'm going to make some appetizers and, and these dishes there. And the idea is that they're going to listen to some music. Okay. Whereas you listen to the music, whereas you're going to listen to my music or taste my music and right. hear my music by the fact that I've cooked these dishes uh, in this way. So it's a full experience then for all of your senses. Absolutely. And then there's going to be music that's being played. There's going to be music that you're going to eat. There's a music that you're going to enjoy. There's some wine and then there is some uh, food as well and music the most three most important things that you need in life that's all I really need yeah absolutely so you know the the talking about Bollywood yeah um, they just had those big Bollywood awards yeah here in Canada in Toronto uh, right, that's right and there, so there's really the popularity I, I think we've always known this particularly in Vancouver but the popularity of Bollywood of all things Indian is it, it's enormous well it's time for us to kind of understand that India is not just, you know, that you go to India and you hang out and you go to Goa and, and you smoke pot and you come back. This is more like, it <laughs> is culture, there is food, nice, yeah. there's yeah. culture, there's food, yeah. there's some beautiful places. You yeah. know, this is the year of India in Canada. Right. So the, even the Indian government has, uh, you know, told people that they should go to India. I'm going to take a tour to India in October, oh, okay. uh, a private tour to a cooking culinary trip to India. Okay. So the idea behind all these this year is that, you know, uh, and India World the World Cup uh, in cricket, which was a big deal. Right. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, you know, that is why India has become not only just India, but the whole multiculturalism, the fact that, you know, the Asian yeah. part of it has done so well. I think it's great. 
<laughs> so at the Indian Summer Festival then, yeah. um, the event that where you're making all the appetizers and, and pairing it with the music, yeah. can the public go to that? Uh, it is a public event. Okay. Um, I think there are some tickets available on IndianSummer.com okay. that they can go and get some tickets from. That and then is the, on, whole, the whole festival runs for 10 days. Yeah, and they're showcasing music, they're showcasing movies about the old world Indian style movies, which are like classic Indian movies. And so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's at SFU, which is like a perfect campus mm -hmm. for, you know, like multiculturalism. And it's Woodwards, which, you know, has huge culture behind it. It does. It's great history. Uh, yeah. SFU Woodwards Gold Court Center for the Arts, the Indian Summer Festival, happening July 7th to 17th. There's the website. It's indiansummerfestival.ca, indiansummerfestival.ca. So we're plating these lamb popsicles now. And what's in the middle? Just a little bit of a mint mango chutney. Oh, I and love I this would plate just too. a little lemon juice. And this is go. so our director when she came in this morning and heard we were doing in, uh, lamb popsicles, she thought that they were frozen. <laughs> this Emma, my dear, is a lamb popsicle yeah. because you can eat it. You don't need. I was thinking I don't have a fork, but who needs one? No. Can and I, the reason why we, I called it a lamb popsicle is so that you could pick up the bones and eat it. Even the queen is allowed to use her hands when she eats Indian food. Eat with your hands. It, may I try this? Yeah, absolutely, okay, may I try that. Just a little dip? Yeah. All right, and Wesley, you've never had a lamb pot. Oh, well, you can't, but I'm sorry. Okay. But everything else, there's lots of vegetarian options at Vidges as well, so you'll be fine. I'm